monthly reading for January 2015. Happy New Year to all the Sagittarius out there. Saturn is in your first house of self. Saturn is a planet of discipline. Probably been feeling it. Um, so very heavy energy with Saturn here. It's going to be disciplining you for the next two and a half years. So get ready for that, Sag. We have on the 3rd of um, January, we have Venus, the planet of love and money, going into your third house of communication, Sagittarius. Now, what that means for you is that your communication is definitely going to be on on love and money basically you're going to be focusing on certain things that you care about and your finances we have on the fifth mercury the planet of communication also entering into your house of communication that means that that planet is definitely going to be helping you communicate certain things that you need to communicate in that area of your life the first card that i got for you sagittarius for the month of january is receptivity so this basically means you need to learn how to receive. Um, this is a need to be also empathetic to others and to show your true compassion itself. You have to treat yourself with compassion and love um, in the month of January. It is going to be a tough, um, a tough couple of years with Saturn here restricting you with a lot of things that uh, you probably didn't have restrictions on before. Saturn moved into your sign on December um, 23rd. Saturn is a planet of discipline and restriction, um, hard work as well, and structure. We also have on the 5th, a full moon in your 8th house of regeneration. Now, full moon definitely definitely symbolizes a bearing fruit of certain things um, that you've probably been working on in this in this department of your, health, of, of your life. The 8th house um, rules your partner's finances, your in-laws, your taxes, your debts, um, death, sex, um, regeneration. Um, it is definitely a, a, it's a private house. It's not a house that a lot of people uh, talk about. It's something that it's a, it's a hidden house. No, it is very. It's also a very mystic house. So there is there is going to be a full moon in that. So definitely look out for that as well, Sagittarius. We have on the twelfth Mars, the planet of action, aggression, passion. Um, moving into your fourth house of home. This is going to be very good for you because you're going to have a lot of energy regarding your home sector of your life, Sagittarius. So there will be some focus and energy and action. You'll have a lot of you'll have a lot of energy in your home life. You'll you'll be able to do certain things at home that you probably didn't have um, the the time to before. The second card that I got for you, Sagittarius, for the month of January is trust. It's an emotional card definitely means you have to be open to the unexpected and you must trust your intuition Sagittarius you're very good at that you're the archer you're the philosopher it's very easy for you to go with your gut and follow your intuition It's also very good that you'd be very positive at this time Sagittarius and show and express your emotions in a loving way you will have um, Venus in the third house of communication so that is going to be very easy for you to do as well we're going to move along to we're going to we have on the 20th a new moon in your third house of communication as well. So if you've been working on your communication Sagittarius if you've been really trying to communicate differently this is definitely going to help. That new moon is definitely a seed planted which means it's going to start to grow sooner or later. Now we're going to wait cuz there is a phenomenon happening this month with a course Mercury, the planet of communication is going retrograde on the 21st in your third house as well. So it's kind of like as soon as you begin to start talking and expressing yourself and being emotional, uh, emotionally um, expressive, this planet is going to go backwards. Now, this means that you're going to go inwards. Um, you're going to be thinking a lot more. You're going to be not really acting on certain things, but reflecting, which is good. It's also not a good time to purchase any type of computers, laptops, uh, anything that has to do with communication, not really a good time. Double check emails, um, text messages and everything that you do with communication. Make sure that you double check because with Mercury retrograding, it, it will slow down the process of communication as well. The second card that I got for you for the, the third card, excuse me, that I got for you Sagittarius for the month of January is maturity. Now, Let's not forget that Saturn, the planet of discipline, 
hard work and structure entered into your sign on December 23rd of last year. Now, this is a very, very good thing because this is actually a Pentacles card, which means that it's your money. It has to do with maturity, with the way you're going to be spending your money and the way that you're going to be accounting for your money. Now, with this planet in this section of your life, it also does mean Saturn is in, is in the first the first house of self for you. So there is going to be some rebuilding a lot of things that you need to have a hold on um, Sagittarius that you've probably been letting slack off a little bit. This is going to be really good though at the same time. And then on the 27th, we have Venus, the planet of love and money again, entering into your fourth house of home. So we're going to have a lot of energy in the home front. We're going to have a lot of love and money entering into the home front as well on the 27th. Also remember, Sagittarius, your ruling planet, Jupiter, is retrograding in the sign of Leo, which is a brother, which is a sister sign to you. So it's not really going to stop that much, but you are going to be reflecting a lot on different things, um, Sagittarius, which is good. This gives you time to reflect and think. And then when it goes direct in April, you'll be able to charge with everything that you've been processing and thinking. So remember, just to be receptive, okay? Be receptive. Trust your instincts, okay? And the maturity, the maturity is definitely there to grow and prosper with your finances. You just need to actually put some dedication, some time in that, okay? And also pay attention to the way you're going to be communicating because there is going to be a retrograde with Mercury in that. Again, I'm Aquila Sagittarius, and I'll see you guys next month. Thank you.